Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, love, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray and ask that you stay. Only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, so there's a dream that I had, and I think it pertains to a situation that's going on. Um, there's something that goes back past life. So I had a dream. Um, something goes as far back. It's like I was sticking to the beginning of a story when two people were like in an indigenous tribe. And this was like probably way before even like uh, imperialism took place, like slavery took place and all of that. Uh, I saw a tribe of people that live like so deep into the forest that it will probably take some maybe days or a couple of weeks to make it to them. So there was the, uh, uh, a masculine and a feminine energy. They seem to be in some, in some type of infatuation with one another. I don't know if the masculine was older or maybe about the same age as her. I'm not sure. But they seemed like there was something very special show about this young woman that I saw she had her face was on the longer side a very gorgeous woman very uh, her face was on the longer side full lips um you know the the typical African features but well but for um perfectly aligned like her her facial structure was very unique but very beautiful woman had her hair braided uh in cornrows kind of like coming to the back and clapping um we called it the uh clap back home um so she's wearing her wrapper it's blue with patterns and stuff on there um but i didn't see him i was seeing things from his perspective uh, for a little while so it seemed like he and the woman were infatuated with one another but the tribe men from her side i believe didn't want her with this man and i believe i believe it may have something either to do with maybe his social class or something like that. Maybe he wasn't as wealthy. And you um, maybe if you all don't know, wealth in those days had to do with like your your cattles, uh, your, your, your parts and goods and things like that. It wasn't much. It wasn't so much about like money and things like that. It was about the amount of like animals you had, the like cows and things like that. Uh, so... And since they were living in the woods, I'm, I'm not sure if even the cattle will be applicable to that situation. They, they may have been like a nomadic tribe because of the structure of homes that I saw them living in. I think they may have been nomadic, um, but they didn't go, they didn't stray too far from their common grounds. Um, so the both of them, they're kind of walking and having a talk and the men in her tribe I think they didn't want him around her because maybe he wasn't able to uh, provide for her properly or there was just some type of bias going on, which is very typical of indigenous tribes. Um, if you want to wed one of their, one of the females in their families, you need to come correct. Like You need to be very stable. You need to come across as a promising gentleman, like you're able to take care and provide for that young woman. Um, but it may have been a thing where he couldn't do that. So the tribe men, tribe men in her family didn't want her with this man. Now she seemed a little younger. Um, and typically in tribes, when a girl reaches a certain age, 12, 13, 14, she goes through a um, rite of passage into womanhood. So it wouldn't have been 
abnormal for her age range to be talking to an older man. That's very typical in a lot of tribes, even in Africa, uh, Asia, and things like that. Uh, India, those indigenous tribes, the girls transition into womanhood at a very early age um, by custom. Um, so, um, and I think, so I think it has something to do with his ability to provide or it could have has something to do with the kind of tribe he came from. But I just know they went, the went, the men in the tribe, while the both of them were talking, they had came, the both of them had came up with a plan to run away. But I think the girl had a little bit more of a naivety energy to her because of course she's younger, the guy is older. Um, and it seemed, I got this sense that she may have at that time been the only girl in that tribe, the only female left in the tribe. So it could have been that she was very valuable to her community because it's like, oh, well, the future of the tribe kind of rests in her hands, on her shoulders. So we can't just let her get with anybody, right? So th they were very protective of this young woman, which is understandable. Uh, and I, I now I kind of see why they didn't want her with just anybody. But she too had an effect, affection with the man that was talking to her. So the both of them are talking and they make a plan to run. But I guess they didn't realize that there was somebody put in place to watch them. There was a little boy who seemed maybe no more than uh, maybe like 10 to 12 years old. Uh, one of the men in the tribes had told him, watch her and him. If they try to go anywhere, let us know, okay? So it's like they knew something was going on and they were trying to put a stop to it. So the both of them decide they're going to run away and she takes off. Like I see the both of them. She turns, she takes off, and then he takes off after her so they can run. Um. So the little boy tells the man, I think it's his father in the tribe, he tells the man, they're running away, they're leaving the... They're leaving, uh, they're leaving the place or whatever he said. It's like they're, they're leaving the community or something like that. They're leaving the village or something like that. So the men had already set up a tribe, a, a trap ahead of time. Now, native tribes and things, they have a few different kind of traps they were set to capture game. Um, one of the traps, the traps can be something where they set up where it's like the animal steps in the trap and the, the rope would tighten around their their uh, paws and things like that. You know what I mean? Like their hinds or whatever. And then they fall and they, they're, they're all tied up and can't go nowhere. Uh, that's a, probably the most humane kind of trap you'll get from a native person. The Another one can be where they set it up where it's like when the animal steps into the trap, a metal thing goes through their one of their hinds or something, their foot. You know what I mean. Uh, and they're injured and laying there just kind of waiting to die, which is a very painful way, slow and painful way to die. And then there's another very horrific one where they would dig a big hole, right? They would sharpen some sticks and put it and stick them upright into the hole, all right? And then they'll take dry leaves, whatever they can get, and cover that hole with it. Not, not good enough. But they'll cover it in a way where you don't know it's a trap. So this man and this girl, they're running. Somehow she missed this trap. And he falls into it and he gets stabbed all over. And I mean, he is screaming bloody murder. They're just screaming all over the place. Um, basically, we're trying to make sure he wasn't going anywhere with this girl. Um, but the, the kind of screaming, screaming he was doing, it was so horrific. Like my spirit, like ended the dream. It was like, mm -mm, I can't like, let's get out of here. So, um, the dream ended there. So I feel like it has something to do with something that's playing out today. Like there's a story that goes all the way back many, many lifetimes. There are two people that wanted to be together and people didn't want them together. And it is something that's playing out now. I think in this lifetime, this same gentleman, he's wanting to be with a feminine energy, but people don't want him to be with that person. Um, and this time, I feel like the roles are reversed. It may be something about his social class, where he comes from, and it has something to do with her social class and maybe his family or whoever he's around has some type of disdain for the feminine energy that he wants to be with, uh, something like that, okay? Um, I also got a message from that that somebody has been doing something where they're about to be caught in some type of trap. Trap. There's nothing you can do to avoid this trap. 
um, it's kind of too late for you to even avoid it. So there's a masculine outside of this that's been doing something that you're either you've either been cut or you're about to be cut doing it and it's going to be really horrific for you this is not something you'll be able to recover from um but to the first story i feel like it's something that's playing out again like and i feel like this is something that they incarnate together and they try to find a way to like make it to one another they're always looking for each other and things like that and they have to make their way through the illusions and try to stay hopeful until God can grant them the ability to connect and grow together um, and have that uh, victory together, right? So it's something like that is playing out where it's that two people are meant to be together, two people want to be together. I don't know what the, what the details, are, details are on that. I don't even know if these two people are aware of each other. Or maybe one is aware of the other, but they're aware of each other on a spiritual level. But there's something where they will, they, they are either meant to be meant to be together, or going to be together, or want to be together, and people don't want them to be together because also it has something to do with money and finances, um, something like that. Okay. So I feel like this story is very important in what has been playing out. Um, and maybe my role in here in some of this is to guide maybe these two or the masculine, whoever, to where he's supposed to go. I don't know. I'm sure, but I'm, I'm very sure it's going to work out. He'll find his way to whoever he's, he wants to be with or he's supposed to be with, whether it's work or romantic. And I also got the sense that the man that got caught up in the trap it's like he was trying to take somebody's partner away from them. So it's like the man that I saw, uh, the, the one that the little boy called, it seemed like that was his mother. And then her husband was trying to make sure that someone else didn't take her away from him. So when the kid told him, oh, they're leaving, he said, oh, really? Okay, Let, let's see how that's going to go. And so it said, whoever this gentleman is that fell into this trap it's like he was trying to steal somebody else's wife but i don't know how like marriages were lined up back then it's very different today maybe back then the woman had the right to decide who she wanted to be with or how many men she wanted to be with whatever it is who she wanted to have children by because this woman seemed very kind of like relaxed and they were talking and everything and i mean today in today's tribes and things like that, you don't just go and talk to somebody's wife um, just like that. Like That's very disrespectful in a lot of tribes. You don't just talk to another person's wife or their husband. The genders usually have the conversation. So the husband and husband talk, the wife and wife talk. But for a husband to just go talk to a wife, it seems inappropriate. Um, so maybe there was a different kind of power dynamic going on at that time, but that husband was just not going for it. Is that over my dead body about to take my wife and just run? Or maybe it was his daughter, but I doubt it. I feel like it was, it was either one of those daughter or wife. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the terror reading. Um, so we have someone out here that may be very angry, um, at your stability, your success, and that you're headed for this 10 of pentacles. I'm going to say we, because a lot of us in the light community, we've just had people coming. We have had people coming for our necks, and they think that we don't know who they are. We got fake Christians coming for us. I said fake Christians, right? Fake religious people coming for us, people pretending like they're advocating for us. I picked up on a religious couple, religious on the surface, devious behind the scenes, pretending like they're advocating for somebody, but they ain't advocating for nobody. These are false prophets. So you got somebody that's very angry and very jealous at your security and that you're about to achieve or have this ten of pentacles that you worked really hard to build. You're about to be having some type of new beginning. Someone may end up confessing what it is they've been doing to you. Uh, there are people living in fear behind the scenes, a lot of uh, uh, anxieties and things like that. You having a new beginning is leading to an ending um, of somebody else. Okay, and this will be like an emperor in reverse or whatever this is. So you having your new beginning, you having your security is going to lead to somebody else's ending. Um, but there's also some type of plot, some type of new plan 
to sabotage an emperor from being able to move on. So you could have an emperor in a situation which it seems so applicable to the dream that I had. This man is wanting to move on with his life, connect with somebody else, but it's like there's a toxic family dynamic that does not want this man moving on. They, they're trying to sabotage him from being able to leave uh, an unhealthy situation. So they could be trying to trap him, uh, keep him in a lower energy, low vibrational energy. But I think this man sees through what it is these people are doing with the fact that they're having to go to this ten of swords just to make sure that they stop him from moving on. And you got somebody that's very obsessed. We got the devils to the two of swords. That means that somebody is very obsessed with stopping this new beginning, stopping this recovery, stopping something from happening. On the other hand, you may have an emperor that's coming towards you to stop you too, to stop you from moving on, stop you from acquiring your security or maintaining your security or whatever. There's something where it's like it's a lot of effort people have put in into something and this has to do with blocking two people from uh, 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 coming together and blocking uh, Empress energy from taking action from achieving something in life but it's that you've already achieved it when you're supposed to reap the harvest of your labor you will reap the harvest of your labor something is already complete and I think there's just somebody that's in denial and is very pissed off at you re receiving some type of good communication inspiring news about you having options to move forward victoriously someone may want to invest into you as the queen of pentacles um, work with you and it will be very successful someone may just be waiting for the right time to contact you or things like that or trying to find a way to contact you but there is something where it's like there's a plot and this is a whole family planning this or plotting this um to stop or sabotage an emperor from being able to move on and it looks like it's not going to be successful this man is still leaving it could be something where it's like they're sabotaging you to him still bad mouthing still doing the same little girl stuff they've been doing a little boy stuff. it's just a bunch of insecurities y'all already know the story it's a bunch a bunch of old folks that got together because of money and jealousy and insecurities they decided to uh defame somebody and there's somebody in here living in some type of fear of what it is they've done you got a false religious woman that i've picked up on someone is playing like both sides uh i don't know so someone has always been a mean girl someone grew up to be a bully but she does it in a very subtle way where it makes it seem like she's advocating for people and this is a, a religious couple that does this but she's the mean corporate they accepted some type of bribery. I said something about uh, someone, like the Queen of Pentacles, offering a religious couple some type of uh, Ace of Pentacles so that they do not uh, 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 balance something out with someone for someone or something like that. So this woman, this religious, uh, this false religious woman, she knows what she's done. She, maybe she doesn't think that you know. Um, so if you and her or him have people in common that you know and you want to talk to them she'll call them ahead of time to kind of clean up things on her end okay or tell them not to do this for you not to offer you this just you know do this so she's kind of running trying to stay ahead of the game but she doesn't really realize she's been exposed a long time ago um this could be something where it's that somebody is talking to you and they're trying to keep things minimum but they don't know they don't realize that they've already exposed themselves like months or uh, maybe even like i don't know months and months ago or something like that like somebody has been exposed the whole time and you you may even just talk to this person just to kind of confirm what it is you already assume that they were partaking in but they don't know that they're still tr someone may even be trying to play victim to you like make it seem like you are the problem because there's some type of coaching going on behind the scenes except whoever this is is not really good at doing whatever they've been doing and someone someone is like a mean girl like that someone grew up to be a mean girl is older uh, but it's a mean girl still hasn't gotten out like someone is two-faced there basically but when you talk to this person this is somebody that sounds really sweet like a sweetheart uh, so with this ten of swords reverse our head is definitely a false religious person um this could be someone that even pretends like they're advocating for you to an emperor or to a community or something and they're not advocating for you like these are people that have like fallen from grace and it's all because of money okay okay so you could have someone that wants to take some type of uh impulsive action to come towards you at the point of wands knight of swords or the judgment whatever uh, uh um whatever 
action you have taken to advocate on your own behalf to support yourself and things like that it was the best decision to stay strong and to keep moving forward there are people that are very obsessed with you taking action okay making some type of decision to have a new beginning someone does not know how it is that you are having this new beginning because they assume that they have blocked every avenue for us and i'm going to say us because Lord have, Jesus. have mercy. I said, Lord have Jesus. Uh, someone does not know how you were able to manifest this new beginning. They're trying to figure it out. It's that uh, we blocked every avenue. We separated them from friends, families, foes, co-workers, ex-co-workers. We, we separated them from everybody. We blocked communications and things like that. So how is this person still having a new beginning? Uh, so you're going to be having a new beginning that's going to be very abundant, okay? Very prosperous. And you are being told to power through something in order for this chapter to be over with. Uh, your enemies are about to be stuck. People are stuck living in fear. Unhappy about you receiving some type of generosity. That's going to lead to abundance for you, right? And enable you to take a different direction in life. So you got people that are very pressed, 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 pressed. Maybe they're very pressed about you and somebody meeting. Pressed, 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 pressed. Pressed. These people are trying to figure out your plans to put an end to it. But it's like everything they plan for you is a failure. Yeah. The judgment by the spirit realm is that this is coming into union. There's a, a, a effort to block a union, a effort to block a marriage, but there's a community of people, there's even a couple that's about to go through some type of karma, um, but they're trying to sabotage you and somebody from coming together, getting married and things like that before it even happens, um, but these people are going through some type of karma that they can't even let like, phantom or they're about to be going through some type of karma that they cannot phantom. It will be like an emperor out here that's investing in, uh, <laughs> this man said he's investing in being able to move on with his life. Yeah, he's investing in being able to move on with his life, have some type of genuine connection with you, whoever you are, um, and it's a very sincere connection he's trying to offer you. There is somebody in the background of you and him, not just somebody, a group, okay? They've been working effortlessly. <laughs> That's generous to say effortlessly. They've been working meticulously, very hard. I'm telling you, very hard to cause you to distress, but it looks like they're, they're the ones having distress because you're still going to be receiving whatever generosity this is or what's, what, whatever kind of um, partnership this is, okay? So somebody may want to come towards you, maybe because something has been brought to their attention and they know what it is you've been going through. But there's somebody who, and I don't know if you all remember, I had picked up on a King of Cups, King of Pentacles reverse kind of energy, who whenever somebody tries to come towards a feminine energy, he's getting in there to block communications, block this, block that, blocking opportunities for you. And it's solely because this man wants you to have no other options. And it don't got to be an ex. It can be somebody else. This man wants you to have no other option but him to go to. And someone does not realize that like you could be... You could be homeless, living in a cardboard box, and having to eat roaches, and you still would not consider him as a partner. Listen, like for me, if this was something, for me, honey, I'll eat fried roach, boiled roast, uh, roasted roach, uh, a baked roach, what kind of, baby, we'll be doing roaches in all kinds of style. But one thing for certain, two things for sure, you and I are not getting back together. Okay, that's how I feel about it. So somebody may be out here doing all kinds of reckless things, uh, thinking like he's re restricting your options. And maybe this has worked on other women before where they just feel stuck with this man, but he has met his match. You're not stuck with somebody. You, you, you're, you've you taken charge of your life, which has people pissed off that you are still secure. I got the devil to the nine of pentacles to the king of queen of wands. Somebody is very upset that a queen of wands is having stability. A queen of wands is still successful. That would be you, collective. You are the queen of wands. Somebody is very angry, very jealous uh, that you are still secure. You're having this new beginning. You're headed for a ten of pentacles. Whatever this is, is going to be very abundant. You may have some type of unexpected income coming towards you. And this is something that is very well deserved. The spirit around beliefs that you deserve it. Yeah, it's your justice. 
Uh, so you may have people that are very angry, just trying to stop some type of justice, some type of good karma from playing out in your life. But it will, okay? It will. It'll play out when it's supposed to. Yeah, you're going to have a new beginning coming up very soon. There may be some one, one chapter has to end, and you know that's how it always goes. One chapter has to end in order for the other one to begin. So one is ending and the other is beginning, okay? Ending and beginning. You're recovering and having a new beginning. And somebody is pissed off about this. Is that somebody doesn't want to sit back and see you build your life back up after they've tried to destroy it. Is that somebody told people you are not abundant, you are not this and you are not that. And in order for them to prove that you are not that, they were destroying you from behind the scenes and stealing from you, blocking you with the help of other people and in order for a narrative to stick. But the narrative is not sticking. You are still going to be receiving something from an emperor. Okay? And it could be a, a man or a woman that's coming towards you in your emperor energy. Someone, someone is definitely trying to come towards you though to stop you from moving on. But it's not going to work. You you need to move on with your life. Put an end to this chapter. You being able to move on is your attunement that you've needed. Okay? Taking charge of your life and things like that. There may be some type of reconciliation is going to take place with this two of cups coming up. Um, and you have an emperor that wants to invest in this. And he's manifesting a new connection. Like he's moving on. To a new connection. Someone has been stuck in something toxic for years. For for a long time. And there's some type of justice that's going to be playing out for your work. But there could be a group of people that have some type of uh, legalities coming in. Uh, like some type of uh, uh, karma playing out where these people could end up in some type of court case. I believe there is some type of investigation going on. I, I, can, I could have sworn I saw like an investigator a couple of days ago. Um, I went to spend time with my kids at a mall and, uh, I feel like I saw an investigator following us around and maybe it is what it is. I know I didn't do nothing. So you're going to keep looking and find nothing. At the end of the day, you're going to, you're going to have to walk away because maybe I don't, I don't do nothing. I don't, I don't be spending on Lamborghinis and buying porches and things like that. Maybe I don't got that kind of money anyways. Um, so if somebody tried to set something up to make it look like what it's not, you're going to find the truth out if you're doing your due diligence to find the truth out. But if you're out trying to cover up things, then you ain't going to find what you need to find. Or you're busy disregarding things, you're not going to find it. Um, and then there was something weird where I picked up. I'm not even going to read into this man. But there was something weird where it's like the first time I saw him, he and I clicked eyes. We, we locked eyes, excuse me. And he had this like intense look in his face and... Um, I said, oh, okay. And then the next time, like, he's standing right in the midst of my family and I, and he has glasses on, so I don't know if it was to block me from being able to see. See that, that It's the illusion for me that people tell these kind of people that if they cover their eyes, then people like me can't read them. It, it ain't nothing like that, sir. <laughs> it ain't nothing like that. Your glass, whether you got glasses on, don't got glasses on, I can still read you if I want to. Um, but he put on some glasses. I'm, I'm hoping that this gentleman was wise enough to just put that glasses on to block the sun out of his eyes. Not to block me from being able to read him because that doesn't work with people like me. Uh, we'll read you, but we'll just stay quiet. And which I'm not going to put you, I'm not going to read, put you into my tarot. But I don't know who sent you, but maybe I ain't the problem. These mother suckers right here, the one going through conflict because of all they've been doing in the dark. And they're living in fear that they will be the problems in our lives. Um, but yeah, there could be some type of investigation going on. And these people that collaborated together against you, they are having some type of legal issue going on. You may not even be privy to this legal issue that's going on um, behind the scenes for some people or what's coming up. People may not know that there's an investigation going on. People may not know that they were being looked into. They're going to have to answer questions for certain things that they did before. Um, I don't know. I heard something about phone calls being recorded and things like that. So I don't know what it is for specifically with the, the, the investigation. Um, but there is some type of investigation either taking place or it's going to be taking place. Uh, this group is really working hard to cause you some type of disappointment. They're working hard to stay strong or something like that. You could have a group that's also working hard 
to extend some type of kindness to you or something like that and there's somebody very angry about that um, and wanting to stop their kindness from being extended to you. Uh, so you, on one hand, you got different two different groups. One is very toxic and still trying to further some type of narrative. And then you have a group of people that are working together to extend some type of kindness or compassion to you. The whole theme of this uh, operation that somebody started was to block or stop people from being kind to you, stop people from being compassionate to you. Someone has basically in their minds separated you from friends and families, isolated you, and restricted you to only them. But then they're realizing that you're not an option for them. You will never be an option for them. You're not going to call this person. You're not going to text this person. You're not going to notice this person even if you walk past them on the street. It's one of those energy. It's a 911 on site kind of energy. And somebody is still living in denial that if they keep restricting you or speaking ill of you and, you know, talking bad about you to people or get to making people think that you are their enemy or something, it's going to get so horrific for you that it'll get to a point where you'll be like, oh my gosh, I need to reach out to her. I need to reach out to him. Everybody is against me. They won't talk to me. And I've said this many times in my review, people like me that stuff don't work on us. Like for me, uh, particularly, and I've mentioned my stuff on here, right? Like I grew up alone, but living in a family. I wasn't in, like in a family where it's like, like, like I, I was kind of isolated already. So I was prepped for this. Whatever. That's why I, I keep telling people like I was prepped. Like I did my studies into spirituality before some, my my side of the story, you all. Before my 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 um. Uh, whatever these people call this battle or whatever this is started with them. I did my spiritual studies, so I already know what I need to know. Uh, what I don't need, what I don't know, my ancestors will illuminate to me in the dream state or in my premonitions and things like that with my, cla my clairs and things like that. So I already know what I need to know, okay? Uh, I've already been prepped as far as the kind of energy that I need to be in as far as the being someone that's used to being alone so if you're trying to isolate me and i think this is the tactic somebody thought was going to work it's like if they isolate me then i'll feel you know unloved unwanted i don't like when i tell you like my my self-worth literally has nothing to do with what anybody thinks of me i'm not even somebody that you can call a friendly person i'm not friendly I'm, like I'm stoic, I'm like a stone when you first meet me. Um, if I'm having some type of unique day, I'm like, oh, hi. That's very rare, but I'm typically like very stone faced. You say hi to me, I say hi to you. You may even think like I got anger issues or something, but it's not none of that. I just am not like a friendly person. And I'm not saying that to say like I'm mean or something. I'm just not friendly. I'm not the person that goes out of my way to be like. Oh, hi, Maria. How are you doing? Da, 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 da. No, but once I, if I know Maria, you know, needs help, I don't have to know Maria to help her. If I know Maria, then I'm even, that's, that makes me even more, that makes me even more eager to help Maria. But as far as being like that one that comes to approach you to start a friendship with you, that's not like me. And if you don't want to be friends with me, I'm not the kind of person that's going to sit around and mope about it. It don't matter how long I've known you. Uh, because when I'm in connection with people, I'm always analyzing those connections. Is that what kind of relationship do I have with this person? Is it a healthy relationship? Um, is this something, is this, is, is this someone that's seasonal or is this someone that's, long long term um, whether it's platonic or romantic so i'm always analyzing those kind of situations so then if something comes up where you say you turn on me or you accept some type of bribery bribery or something or you bad mouth me or something it's not something i'm sitting around like angry or sad about or depressed about it's just that well my chapter my contract is over with this person right so i think maybe with your situation which i've been seeing like the eight of swords to the empress or something this whole goal or operation to isolate an empress energy is just not working because empresses are fulfilled within thyself within themselves so you going out of your way to to isolate an empress energy it's kind of a waste of your time and your resources, especially with the fact that I've been seeing someone paying, especially a queen of pentacles, 
Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, all paying people to isolate an Empress energy. That kind of that kind of approach to an Empress does not work. Even to a high priestess, these are people that prefer to be alone because when they are alone, they self-actualize a lot better. They get their downloads a lot better. They think a lot clearer, okay? The Empress is naturally abundant. She's motherly and things like that. That means that she's gone through stages in life where she's probably made it through that loneliness stage where she doesn't have friends and things like that. So she's learned how to adapt to that kind of frequency okay so then when you come out here and this is what typically insecure on on and unaware people that like self-awareness they don't know that these kind of isolation spells don't work on those kind of people even like an emperor emperors don't walk around looking for a best friend emperor don't look around looking for a group of friends and things like that an emperor would typically have a good one two three confidants okay or one confidant um, if he's lucky and he has more than that, God bless him. But he's not looking for more than that. Emperors are not typically like social people very often. You can find them, but typically they kind of tend to be very like in their own energy, very authoritative and assertive and things like that. But they're not like eager to be friends with everybody. That gives like desperation. And someone doesn't understand that because she's like that. So she's she's desperate for attention she's desperate to be the centerpiece of everything and because a tactic like that an approach like that will work on her she assumes that it will work on you when you are actually someone who's an introvert you don't like being around people like that you, i'm not saying like her or not i'm just saying people in general you don't like being around people like that you prefer to be by yourself so it's like maybe somebody didn't think clearly somebody didn't know you maybe they tried to get some type of reference on you and they got it from the wrong person and the person probably told them oh they went through this in their childhood this is the tactic you should use we should isolate them and make them feel that nobody loves them nobody supports them but then you keep doing the same thing over and over and you're not getting the results that you want and you're wondering why are they still going why are they still talking why are they still working why are they, da, 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 why are they still happy you don't understand you're not, you didn't strategize adequately per the person. Every tactic you use on other people is not going to work on another person. Like the tactic you use on A is not going to work on B. The what, what, you, what you use on B is not going to work on C. Everybody is different. But typically these isolation spells and whatever you all call it, because it's not really spell work, it's just childishness, it's insecurity. It work on people like you because you reside in an energy where you are desperate for attention. You don't know thyself. So you're eager to have attention from people. Um, you want to be the it girl or the it guy. Those are the things that matter to you, who you're dating, who you're seen with and things like that. Those things matter to you. But the kind of energy you're coming after, those are, like, those are not things that are even on your list of priorities. Ain't no, you ain't never find, find, find that on an empress's or emperor's list. Or a high priestess list, uh, getting attention, uh, you know, being everybody loves me. I have a lot of friends, and you know, th make making new connections. And da -da 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 -da. you're not going to find that on their list of things, their bucket list, nothing. Okay, nothing, it don't got nothing to do with, with that. And when you don't know yourself again and you don't understand how universal law works. That's why you will try to use that approach on these kind of energies and not realize why it's not working because that's not the energy for that, which is why you'll always end up disappointed, living out here in fear and things like that of someone pushing through to be what's well successful. So I, I don't know what to tell whoever this is, but maybe you used the wrong tactic. And I keep seeing you paying money and being angry behind the scenes and doing this and doing that. They said none of that is going to work because whoever you're coming towards, these are people that move alone. The only, the only source that they rely on is the energy source itself to make sure that everything is provided. It's like, you give me this contract, right? Source, sources. Yes. Okay. I am doing my part in this contract. Correct. Yes. Okay. Then what am I? what's next and then source pours into these kind of people because they analyze the situation and say yeah they made an agreement to go through this ringer with these people they're doing their part to keep moving forward these people 
or go in bunkers and things like that. And we see that this person is doing what they said it would do. So let's go ahead and balance the situation out. But you're wasting your time, your money, your resources, your energy. It, it's not going to work. Okay, it don't matter what you do. Somebody is still going to wake up every day, go for the things they want, they want and balance things in, in their uh, life. Their destinies will still be playing out. So I don't know who told you what, who didn't tell you what, but there's a reason why you're in distress and unhappy. These, car these three cars here... Baby, they keep coming out. And it's not in regards to the Empress energy or whoever you've been trying to take out. It's in regards to you all. You're heartbroken. You're angry, in distress, uh, going through a lot of strife amongst one another. Okay, you're disappointed through temper tantrums and all of that. And living in fear because whatever you thought was going to play out, it's not playing out. I don't know if you all tried to take something from somebody or you tried to have some type of uh, offer or opportunity given to you and you're finding out that it's not coming to you. Um, that's how it was always meant to be. And whatever test this divine being was going through, that's what they were supposed to be. Whatever they did is what they were meant to do. So now you got people out here angry, the whole community. They're going through a karma, they're angry, but still trying to sabotage a union or a connection, a new beginning. Someone, your justice, baby, your, 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 your kindness, your strength has enabled you to triumph. Basically, your loving energy has enabled you to triumph over the forces of darkness, over the forces of hate and all of that. Someone's angry because they cannot hold on to something that belongs to you. You got another emperor that's in here uh, trying to pay for something to be held on to, trying to pay to keep you in a situation that you're not meant to be in. Like, why are these people obsessed with you? That's because a lot of them took bribery behind the scenes and they're obsessed. They've become obsessed with another person. So someone is trying to keep some type of solid offer from being given to you. We got the three of swords, four of pentacles, to so the knight of pentacles. Someone's very angry. They cannot keep some type of offer from being given to you. For some of you, this emperor reverse is like a boss. Um, somebody's father, somebody's husband that is out here obsessed with an employee, with his ex-wife or his soon-to-be ex-wife or, 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 or whatever. It is really just disturbing. Something is disturbing. It's like a group of people have lost their mind uh, and greed has taken over them. It, it don't even make no sense. And there's a woman that tutors people behind the scenes on how to pretend like they don't know what's going on. But it's like, we always know, like, who knows? So you can call or we can call you and you can play victim all you want or act like you don't know what's going on. We know. Like, I have my way of asking people questions to know exactly what it, what it is that I need to know. Um, but you'll never know, though. I'll just... It, it's very nonchalant. It's very subtle. Um, and I do it in a way where it's like, eh... She, 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 we, 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 I, I think I got her. No, you didn't get me. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I did my best. I think she's, she still believes that I'm her friend. No, 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 no. I don't believe you're a friend. I, I was just calling to get information from you that I needed. I already got that. Like, with my thing, and I, I'm going to apply mine because obviously I'm going through something similar. I can, like, I, I know people's faces, who's done what, who's accepted bribery, all kinds of stuff. So, it's like, you can't even come to me and say you didn't know what was going on. I say, you're a bullfish lie. You know I know. <laughs> I already know. There was something that had to do with you not being able to achieve a Ten of Cups. So basically, you never get married. You stay single. Maybe I said Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups came out. But you're still achieving that, and people want to stop that. Like, you have a Ten of Cups. You're going to be collaborating with someone. You have a contract coming in with somebody. It's like a new contract, okay? And this is your justice playing out. There's a family going through karma, though. There's some type of court case a family is about to go through or they're going through. And it's going to expose them in a really horrible way. You maybe have like an institution or a couple, uh, a couple, yeah, maybe a couple that decides that they want to settle with you so that a lawsuit doesn't take place. Because if a lawsuit take pl takes place, it's going to expose them horribly. Like it's going to, you go from hearing Sally Mae 
a pillar of the community for 200 years to Sally Mae tried to assassinate somebody because she did not want the truth coming out about what she had done to this young woman or this young man. She stole from this person. They all grouped up together to bully this person. I'm very eager to know what this story becomes. I will be keeping you all up to date on this story. Something like that. And Sally Mae is going to be facing 10 years in prison. <clears throat> Sally don't want that coming out. So Sally may reach out to you and say, hey, we were wondering if we can talk to you. Yeah, we can talk to you. And you're like, mm, let me talk to my ancestors about it. Let me talk to my ancestors about it. The spirit realm is still getting back to me, okay? I'll get back to you. Give me time. Give me time. Give me time. I'm still thinking about it. And you know what? I think we should go to court. I think we should go to court because I don't think um, you're going to do what's right. And then there goes Sally me. So... Whatever this is, this is not something somebody can afford or a group of people can afford to come out because it's going to undo them. But this is the destiny. This is how things are really meant to play out is for <clears throat> the truth to come out. Yeah. So, Ten of Cups to the Queen of Swords. That will be you again. Like I said, you are going to achieve this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles because the Ten of Pentacles is already out here. And it's coming in quickly. And this is due to your determination and things like that. You got a couple that may be working with a queen of swords to do you something your strength is bothering these people they're getting worried it's that uh this person keeps get, keeps working this person keeps moving forward they're having a new beginning what do we do what do we do i'm getting nervous if we if we get cut this is going to be horrible yeah it's going to be horrible because they're going to lose everything it's a failed victory there's some type of minor or empty victory somebody uh group had and they were celebrating you know they're always celebrating always but there's people behind the scenes. Like, they're nervous. Nervous. I knew this three of swords was going to come out here. Like, your strength is pissing somebody off that they cannot keep you from receiving some type of offer. So, they're trying to stop your ten of cups. Uh, stop your clarity. There may, there may even be an, an effort to stop a couple from speaking the truth. They're trying to stop them from seeing things for what it is. There could be some type of distraction going on, like a king of pentacles or whoever is being distracted from seeing the truth about a situation. But he's going within and he knows what really is going on. He knows who you are, okay? And something is going to play out in divine timing with the ten of, uh, the wheel of fortune. I don't know why I'm always uh, tempted to call the wheel of fortune the ten of wheels. <laughs> anyway, the, with the wheel of fortune, something is playing out. In divine timing, okay? Yeah. Atonement. Your strength is bringing atonement into a situation. This will be Archangel Michael as well that is working with you or working on your behalf to bring atonement into a situation. So the truth is out. You're having some type of new beginning. This is judgment due to your strength, your kindness, your, your, your gentleness and things like that. Your loving energy, your courage, right? You're someone very courageous and someone didn't expect you to make it through something this long. It's that someone is desperate to have something be done, like have you be done, taken care of. Because they're on a timeline. The timeline is running out. It may have already ran out, but they're still trying to keep something going. It's not going to go in their favor. So this is leading your strength, your clarity, your intellect, right? You're showing up as a queen of swords. That means that you're very intellectual. All of that combined is bringing some type of attunement into uh, this matter for you. But I see like people trying to distract a man in a company or in a family, in a community, so that he doesn't pay attention to what they're really doing. So it's like people hitting him from the blind side. And this is what like uh, dark workers typically do is hit people. They'll, they'll attack you from the blind side. Okay. So there's some type of atonement being brought into... Uh, 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 what, is this? what 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 is this? An injustice. Thank you. That's what I was trying to get, get out. Some type of atonement being brought into an injustice. Whatever you lost... Um, it'll be returned to you 10 times full. Whatever was stolen from you will be returned to you 10 times full. So you got people out here that are very angry. This could be a community that's going from living some type of La Vita Loca at your detriment to being into like a, a poverty stricken state. Very depressed out here in that kind of Five of Cups energy. Feeling left out in the cold, embarrassed. There's somebody in here that's very embarrassed in what they've participated in. And the fact that you know as well what they've been participating in is, is haunting them. That something is haunting somebody. 
me, but you got some good news and somebody's trying to keep some type of communication from coming towards you. You could even have someone that's paying to make sure that you don't receive communication, but have all communications blocked, block your plans to move forward. None of that is going to work. You are still having this new beginning, okay? And it's going to be victorious. And you got people out here that's very angry, very jealous of this this new beginning, this connection, and things like that. They're angry that uh, you someone is still waiting to connect with you. So we told you this person is worthless. We told you this person is disingenuous. We told you this person is this. We told you this person is that. Um, and they're trying to stop this man from moving on, I guess, to come towards you to connect with you or whatever this is. But it's basically a collaborative effort. Okay, a collaborative effort uh, to just block abundance for two people or for one person. Um, but you are protected in all of this. And the amount of protection you have around you is ridiculous. It's a lot of divine intervention um, cards out here. We have the temperance, the judgment, the ace of swords. Um, so it's a lot of divine intervention taking place on your behalf. Um, and it's wonderful that let's... People know that your energy is very pure because a disingenuous person wouldn't have that kind of protection. That's a whole lot of protection. And then the strength is out here as well. So not only is the universe guiding you and supporting you, they are pouring into you, telling you that you can rely on them. Uh, just stay strong and stay in positive energy and things like that. Um, and they'll see you through whatever this is, but it looks like you have a new beginning coming in. You may have somebody that wants to have closure with you, have some type of, of forgiveness. This is somebody that could be, could be going through like uh, some type of epiphany about a situation. Uh, you may even have someone that's trying to stop this person from having some type of epiphany. Um, but it's a whole collaborative effort to basically stop two people from working together. And again, that dream that I had, I feel like it's applicable to this situation where it's like there's a plot to sabotage a, a, a emperor from going towards a feminine energy to kind of come together or to balance something out. But like you two are still going to meet. The fact that I saw those two people talking in the dream, they're still going to meet. And I feel like I don't think that something bad is going to happen to this man. I just feel like Spirit was showing me where this story began, like the origins of this story. This is something that goes all the way back to when these two first encounter each other or were interacting with one another. This is like some type of story that goes all the way back uh, past lifetimes. Um, but it's a whole, like, there's something very imperative about protection in here. Um, it's that people are doing a whole lot to, I don't know if it's to, like, to dismantle somebody's protection, not just physically, but spiritually, but the universe is just not having it. Um, like, for example, I'm just going to use this as an, as a story. Um, so I went to work yesterday, um, I don't, I'm not driving right now. Um, I had some issues going on, transportation issues going on. Um, I haven't, I had a car, I think like since 2000, I think 14 or something like that. I've been driving that long. Um, so it's kind of weird to not have a car, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I fell on some hard times because people have been messing with my income basically. Um, and then they went in called or reached out to the car company to come and have my car so i told you guys i've been dealing with a lot of bullying um and it's not something like i'm embarrassed to talk about that just lets me know i'm a force to be reckoned with it all these people will come together and throw their senses out the door to do me something so anyways so um i haven't had a car for a few months and i started my job so um i'm not used to the the public transportation uh having been on there in a long time um so yesterday i'm going to work the bus comes late uh and i get on the bus i'm on my way to work um i'm trying to follow the instructions like the the, the steps that they put on there online but apparently it was wrong told me to get up in, uh, at 10 in 10 stops so i got up in 10 stops um but apparently it was wrong and i didn't know my way around the city that part of the city so I end up getting lost. My phone dies. 
Um, and I'm just walking around, like, trying to figure out which way to go and things like that. And I'm getting scared because I'm in the part of the city where it's, like, uh, not so good things happen, okay? You see, like, a police car, ambulances just flying past and things like that. Um, so, it was a very long day. I ended up not finding the right bus stop until, like, maybe an hour, hour later, hour and a half later. Um, and I had to stand at the wrong bus stop twice to see which way to go to catch that specific bus. Um, so then I end up catching the bus to go to work, get to work an hour and a hour and a half, hour 40 minutes late. And I'm like apologizing because I don't want my employee employer to think that I don't care. And it's not very characteristic of me. So I'm apologizing and things like that. And they were very understanding. Um, and I still got my job done. Time for me to leave. The bus that was supposed to pick me up um, was running like an hour late. So I was like, I ended up sitting at the bus stop for like <laughs> almost two hours. Because <laughs> I think there was some type of emergency going on. So I kind of just sat there watching videos and uh, making phone calls. Well, I get on that bus. And I'm just saying this for the kind of protection, because I know the level of protection I have is 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 out otherworldly, and that's why a lot of the times when people are doing stuff, I don't really worry about it or react. Um, so I get on the bus and I ask the gentleman like where I could catch the next bus, and he said, like, "Oh, you go to this da -da 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 terminal st uh, station." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." Well, I wasn't familiar with their terminal station. So he got there. Apparently that's what it was, but I didn't ask him to please let me let me know when he gets there. So we ended up driving past the terminal station another 15, 20 minutes. And then I asked him, I said, hey, are you going to the you know terminal station you took me about? He said, Oh honey, it's back there. It's not uh, it is back there. I already passed it. You know, when I stopped and I was talking to people, that's where the, I was like, God Lee. He said, What do you want to do? I said, I don't know. He, I don't know. He's because it's in the middle of the night at this time. You all, it's dark everywhere. Wherever I am, this is where you see people doing interesting activities at night on the streets. Okay, interesting stuff. Um, this is not somewhere where you're gonna stand to catch the bus and somebody sees you alive the next day or sees you around the next day. Like it's a couple of women that got off the bus there and maybe they ran into their house. Like, not a house, apartment building. They ran into the building. So, I already knew I was somewhere I did not need to be. But if I would have stayed on the bus, I would have had to go, like, another hour uh, in order for him to turn around and come back. So, I said, who, Lord? And he said, you can get off here. Um, the other one may be coming. Um, and you can get on there and go back to the other direction. And he said, stay safe. I said, okay, thanks. So, I get off. And I'm terrified, like in, I'm terrified because one, I don't even know where I am. Um, and two, it's just human instinct for you to be concerned in a situation like that. And it's pitch black outside, there's barely any lights. Uh, so I'm not that big, I'm on like the petite side of things. So I'm already worried and I'm the perfect shade. <laughs> so I'm like, shoot, apparently men like chocolate these days, chocolate these days. So I don't want to be a... <laughs> but it just so happened, you all. And this is like where I always remember to thank my ancestors and the energies that are working with me and on my behalf. I'm getting off this bus and I'm worried that I'm about to be standing out here in the middle of the night. Someone could do something to me. Having seen my babies all day, worried about them and all of that. I get off the bus, go around, and when I say, as soon as I cross the street, within like five minutes, the other bus pulled up. Like, what are the odds of that bus pulling up? Because I didn't know where I was, didn't know what time it was, nothing. Okay, just, just terrified that I may not make it home to my kids because I'm not in a safe place. Um, but I was just so, like, grateful. I'm like, oh my gosh, you all... Like, I was think I was like, thank you, ancestors. So, like, I know the level of protection that I have. Even though, even then, sometimes I still, like, get afraid. Like, I don't intentionally, I'm not someone that will intentionally, like, put myself in situations or just see if my ancestors are going to get me out of it. No. But I know when I get end up in situations that I shouldn't be, 
they're going to see me through it. It'll make sure that I'm taken care of. So their way of making sure that I made it up out of that <laughs> this situation, that bus came right away because like, I didn't know the bus schedule and it was late at night when the buses uh like start running like once an hour or something so i would have been standing out there for a whole hour waiting again um but wherever we were as soon as i got up the other one came within five minutes and five seconds not five minutes within five seconds i saw it come i said oh thank you thank you guys sisters thank you so much um and i finally made it home but you could have some and i'm not going to say you could we tend to have that kind of protection over us, which we are very grateful for. If there's anything I ever ask for from my ancestors, it's always protection. I always ask the universe for protection in whatever situation I'm in. I'm not the one that like asks for like money and all kinds of stuff. I always just ask for uh, protection and uh, 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 support and things like that. If things get real funky, then I ask for security and things like that. But it's never me. Oh, I need a thousand dollars. Oh, I need ten thousand. No, 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 no. Like it's literally me co-creating with the universe. It's like however long you all decide this is gonna take for it to be resolved, and that's how long it's supposed to take. So I'm not gonna mope around about it. We're just going to go through the stages until we get to the final destination, right? So I'm pretty sure. You have the same situation, same relationship with the universe and your ancestors. Because when I do these prayers, I see these in divine intervention cards coming out a lot. And I use my story too, so that you all know you're not going through these situations alone. There are other people that are going through it. Um, there are other people that are being bullied. There are other people that are being taken from, people stealing from them, people trying to isolate them and things like that. And that is why I add my story so that you all know that the, these situations are applicable to me as well. It's not just you. Um, you're not going through something alone. You're never really alone. Okay. The universe, the earth is our home. So you're never alone. There are 9 billion people on the planet just because a select group decide that you're not one of them does not mean that you are rejected. It's a privilege. It's an honor for people like that to reject you. That means that you are someone that is of high standards. You are someone uh, that uh, uh, has high that is held in high regard, high honor, right? If low vibrational people, people that are thieves, uh, criminals, and things like that, insecure people, immature people, um, malicious people, bullies, basically, if they will reject you, you should know that something. It's right about you and there's something that's wrong with them, not you. Don't ever let anybody think, make you think that you are the problem. That's what a lot of narcissists and a lot of abusers do. They try to project that energy onto you so you can feel like you're the problem. You're not. But back to the uh, protection thing, there's a ridiculous amount of protection around two people. So it's that when these kind of people take action to do you or something and do you to something there's some type of repercussion that's taking place and it happens in a way that's unexpected like a freak accident will happen somebody will fall sick uh somebody will pass away somebody lose a job somebody lost it somebody like there's some type of repercussion taking place in these people's life i see the ten of swords to the four of wands and the three of swords five of pentacles there's some type of karma that's playing out in these people's lives for, for for repeatedly trying to sabotage some type of union, some type of a connection, something that has been destined by the universe is judgment to the four of wands. That means that the universe made a decision for these two people to come together. So whoever who these people are that are taking action to sabotage this union, it's a whole lot of karma they're going through. Like, I keep picking up on someone that's in a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety. They want, they want to take some type of impulsive action. You may even have someone that wants to uh, uh, come towards you to apologize, but it's not something genuine. They're only doing this because the truth is out. I don't know if they're having some type of epiphany that they did something unjustly. There was no reason for them to do whatever it is they did. There's something of that nature taking place. Is that people are starting to see something for what it is. People are angry that you are committed to balancing things out in your life or you are committed to things being things working out. So basically you being hopeful in life, uh, which is the energy we're supposed to be, you know, the energy of the fool. 
being open-minded, being optimistic, and things like that. People, these kind of people that don't like for us to be in that kind of energy. They want us to be depressed. They want us to be sad. They want us to feel isolated. They want us to feel miserable. But that's not an energy that's natural for us. Like feeling alone is not something that's natural for me. Like I, like I'm typically. Um, let me say feeling lonely being alone and feeling lonely are two different things i'm typically nine out of ten times uh, when it comes to the outside world i'm a, um, alone but i'm not someone that's lonely okay um so you trying to make me feel lonely is kind of like a comical situation for me it's entertainment for me it's like i'm looking at you like oh well okay that's cute I'm gonna let you be. Um, so I feel like with whoever this story, I mean, it's probably all of us. A lot of us have the same reaction when you try to isolate a light workers. What you're feeling to realize is that that light worker has made it through stages to get to where they are. So they've gone through that alone, loony stage, or whatever rejection, isolation stage. Kind of like myself, went through all of that through childhood. So if you do that kind of spell work on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny if you do that kind of spell work will be right now it's kind of like repetition it's a, oh okay um i don't know why you think like i would care about something like that but i feel like there is somebody that misled these people about a lot of different like workers and the person in you us lives are different some of you could be your mother, your father, your bosses, lovers, ex-lovers, uh, forced religious people, and things like that. They may have misled someone to make them think that if they isolate you, if they reject you, um, if they don't offer a friendship to you, or they just maintain some type of professional interaction or relationship with you that is going to make you feel some type of way and that's because a lot of the times these kind of people they value their importance in other people's life a little bit more than it is uh, so is that you may think a little bit too highly of yourself when it comes to this light worker's life is that oh i'm very important to this person they're going to be very heartbroken that I'm not having a personal relationship with them anymore is going to be professional. But little do you know, the light worker has been studying you for years and they already know how you move. So they're expecting that. So it's, it's something like that. But at the end of the day, people are angry at your connection, your success, you making new alliance, forming new alliances. All right. And they know this is coming. You having foresight um, or somebody having foresight, something is being brought to somebody's attention and there are people that are angry about this and they're trying to stop somebody from moving away, trying to stop somebody from healing, stop someone from, from self-actualizing or moving on. But there's some type of karma taking place though. It's like a tick for tech thing and I feel like I've used that analogy. It's like something somebody is doing, the universe is doing something to them to so say, you do this and we do this, this to you. You do this, we do this, 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 this. It's like, you, you know the universe is tick for tag. It's not our kind of tick for tag. So it's that like you cost somebody their job, the universe will make sure you lose your job, your business, <laughs> and your house. It's because like we got time to play. You want to play, we can play too. Like, like sometimes the universe, it'll seem like they're on like that chucky, that chucky, that chucky vibe. It's a want to play, and it's just like, oh, God, dang it. Why did I even play with this person? Um, but it's something like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.